Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we are going to be doing a transformation video. I don't believe I've done one of these on my channel so we're going to do our hair today, we're going to do our skincare, we're going to do our makeup, the whole jazz. You know everybody's doing these one hour glam transformations and the before and afters can be crazy sometimes so I wanted to sit down and just show you how I get ready, how I do my hair a few times a week and you know my skincare routine with the new products that I've been using and just pretty much how I get ready every day. So if you guys want to see how I look at the end of this, I promise you I'll look better, then make sure you keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications so you're notified every single time I do upload. I upload every single week and make sure you check out my social media. They're here on the page if you want to follow me and they're also down in the description bar. Let's jump right into the video guys. So first what we're going to do is we're going to start with skincare, okay? And then we're going to go into the hair. So I've already cleansed my face with the first a beauty I think it's just called purity cleanser or pure facial cleanser really really nice for dry skin so now I'm gonna go in with this toner this is the ultra repair white oak hydrating toner and I'm just gonna apply some of this right to my hand I've stopped using cotton rounds I don't know I'm just kind of tired of buying them so I've been applying this to my hands and just rubbing this all over the face and I also will drag it down my neck and then I will start patting it in to absorb into the skin that's what I do with all of my products I will like rub them in first and then I'll end up eventually patting them in and this stuff feels so nice and cooling on the skin and it's very very hydrating next I'm going to take this ordinary niacinamide 10% and zinc right here I used to hate this actually but I definitely think it's been clearing up some of my acne now that I've been using it more so I don't mind it I kind of just will use this as my serum and then what I'll do is I'll rub it right into the skin and it leaves your skin really really glowy I'll bring it down my neck as well I've heard that niacinamide is really really good for the skin and good for a lot of things but this is actually the first product that I've used that has niacinamide in it so I've heard really great things and then I'm just going to pat it into the skin like we did with the toner you never want to forget about your neck because your neck ages the fastest people so make sure you put skincare on your neck so the next serum that I'm gonna go in with this is from first aid beauty this is the ultra repair hydrating serum I love this stuff it's basically just like hyaluronic acid in a bottle and it feels so good on the skin and it looks really good under makeup as well just because it hydrates your skin and leaves it feeling so so silky soft and plump and you don't need a lot just a little dot will cover your whole face like look how dewy our skin is looking that's how you know you did good skincare when your skin is looking so healthy and dewy by the end of your skincare routine keep in mind this is just my morning skincare routine since we are going to be putting on some makeup and next for moisturizer i'm just going to go in with this simple replenishing rich moisturizer right here i've been using this for a while it doesn't break me out it's not really my favorite for locking in moisturizer but it doesn't have any fragrance or dyes or chemicals or anything in it which if you saw one of my previous videos, you would know that I'm trying to kind of stay away from fragrance in my skincare and just use more healthy skincare, stuff without parabens, phthalates, and just harsh ingredients in general. All right, so that is the skincare. Now we're going to go in and do our hair. My favorite product for doing my hair, this is the Revlon what is it the one styler is that what it's called I forget what it's called but it's this and you can get it at Target or on Revlon's website and it is so worth the 50 to 60 dollars that you're gonna pay a lot of people say this is a dupe for Dyson now I obviously would never spend 500 dollars on a Dyson air wrap or whatever you call it but this is supposedly a dupe for it and I love it this gives you a such great blowout in like five minutes it's like you went to the salon and got a blowout so I did put a review of, of this on my channel probably almost a year ago now if not less but I'm also going to show you how to use it in this video today, but it's going to be sped through just so that we don't take up as much time. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off my hair. I've already kind of brushed it. I just use a wet brush, but you can use whatever brush you want. I'm just going to get rid of all the knots in my hair, and then we're just going to section off the hair. So I like to do the bottom section first. So I will section this off and then just 
ponytail it off and then I will split the two sections down here into their own sections as well. I just think it's a lot easier to work in sections than if you were to not separate your hair. I feel like it would just be too much and you would miss a lot of spots. With this baby right here, you have different settings. You have a cool setting, a low setting, and a high setting. I always just use the low setting. I think the high setting just seems too much. And with the low setting, like I don't really like or even need a lot of heat to dry my hair because my hair is so thin. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with the low setting and it is gonna be loud, but I'm going to speed up this process just so that way it doesn't take up too much time in the video. All right, so we already have this section pretty much dry and on my monitor, it's been two minutes. So that is how quick that it will dry a section of your hair. And for me, that's impressive because when I use a normal blow dryer, it just takes like an hour and I Nobody got time to be blow drying their hair for an hour, two hours, depending on how long and thick your hair is. So I definitely recommend this. And honestly, it leaves your hair pretty much straight. You can go in with an oil afterwards to get rid of some of the frizz, but you really don't even have to straighten your hair afterwards. Now we got this side dry. Again, it was another two minutes on my monitor. So we're already at four minutes with drying our hair. The only hard thing about this is it's very hard to get to the root because it is so big. But honestly, I think for the price, it works very, very well. So now I'm just gonna section off this next part of my hair. You can use clips, of course, but my clips are in the other room and I'm too lazy to get them. So we use some ponytails over here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in and do this side real quick. All right, so we got this side done. And you know, it doesn't pull on your hair either, which is really, really nice. And it just leaves your hair so incredibly soft. Now we're gonna go in and do this side. This side's a little bit thicker, so I'm going to section off this side in half. All right, now we're gonna do the last section. We have just approached the nine minute mark. So our hair, your hair could basically be dried in like 10 minutes. How insane is that? What I like to do for the front is, you'll see I like to kind of dry the hair this way just so it adds some volume. Alright, look at that volume you guys and my hair looks so shiny. I love using this thing like I said I really think it's worth your money. The only thing I don't like is that at least for me because my hair like falls out You know everybody's hair sheds I feel you do get some hair in it So I usually will take like a bobby pin and like scrape all the hair out, but yeah, this is the hair I really just like straight hair. So for me this is good enough. Now we can get on with the makeup. For primer, we're gonna go in with the Liquid Tatcha Silk Canvas. I did use this, I believe, in my last video and I didn't mind it. I kind of really liked it. it. Smells like lemongrass to me and it really just leaves your face so smooth and ready for makeup application. Actually, wait, maybe we should do our eyes first. Hold on a sec. For the eyes, I wanna do something kinda of just neutral, brown, fall vibe. So we're gonna go in with Miss Jackie Ina's palette. I really, really love love this palette. Let's set our eyes, shall we? I'm just gonna use concealer today and we're gonna set the eyes, baby. Also, I should probably do my brows first. Oh my god, what am I doing? Let me zoom you guys in too while I'm at it. All right, I've zoomed you guys in. Let's blend this out. I don't usually prime my eyelids with a concealer, to be honest. I usually will use like the P. Louise base or the MAC Caterly Paint Pop, but I'm feeling a type of way today, so this is what we go work with. 
This palette doesn't have a matte white shade, so I'm going to go in with the Modern Renaissance palette here and just use this shade Tempura over here just to kind of set the concealer down, just so that way it doesn't crease. Not everybody likes to set their concealer, but when I do use concealer, I need to set it. If I was using a eyeshadow base, like a P. Louise base, I wouldn't set it. But for concealer, you girl has to. I got oily eyelids. I'm just going to do my brows off camera really quick and then we will continue with the eyes. All right, you guys. So my brows are filled in. I kind of like how this one looks. Looks super feathery, right? So like I said, we're going to go with the Jackie Aina palette. I believe the first shade we're going to use here is called Ginger. And let's take... It's been a hot second since I've done my eyeshadow, actually. I'm going to take a Morphe M506. I really like smaller definer brushes versus like big brushes just because I don't really have a lot of lid space so I need something that can really get in there so let's just do one eye on camera and one eye off to save us some time since this video is already very long so we're just gonna start by putting this right in the crease can you guys believe that it's May already? We're like halfway through May and it just started. It's so crazy to me. So I'm kind of just flicking it out a little bit. I'm unsure what I want to actually do, if I'm being honest. So I'm just kind of going with the flow. I just feel like I haven't done like a neutral eyeshadow look in such a long time that I feel like it would go with my shirt too. So that's why I chose to do a neutral eye today. That's pretty. So the next shade that I'm going to go in with is called Edges. Right here, it's just like a deeper orange. Oops, I put my finger in the eyeshadow. <laughs> And we're just going to go right over that same spot and just give it more of a little warm color. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this angle is okay for you. I moved my mirror over here just so that way I can stay in the frame for you guys. I feel like with a smaller brush like this, you really don't have to like cut the crease as much. That's like my biggest problem with makeup, cutting the crease. I'm just so terrible at it that I really don't do it often because I just think I'm so terrible at it. But with this type of smaller brush, you can really kind of go a little bit above the lid if you want. So that way, and, and it's so small that it keeps the shadow in a smaller area. So it's not like falling all over your lid or getting onto your lid by accident. And I really like that about these Morphe brushes. I think the next shade I want to go in with, I'm going to go in with with a glitter I think on the lid and then do like a brown eyeliner I think that's the vibe that I'm going for today so the glitters in this palette are so beautiful I don't even know like where to begin but I think let's go in with Zam Zam I'm, a, I'm sure that's how you pronounce it Z-A-M-N and I'm actually do I want to do a glitter base Yes, I do. Let's do, I don't know where my glitter glue is. So I guess we're not gonna do a glitter base today. I don't know where my glitter glue is. I don't know. I don't know where I put it. So we'll just go in with our finger. You can see very glittery. And just, actually, you know what? I have an idea. Let's go in with some MAC Fix Plus on a shader brush. Don't ask me why I didn't think of that in the first place. It's like literally the first thing I think of in my videos and here I forgot. I forgot that I have Max Fix, Fix Plus. And let's just put this all over the lid. This is such a pretty color, oh my God. Look, it looks like I cut the crease and I didn't even have to. It's a little tip for you guys. So let's wipe the fallout off under the face. We are going to have glitter on our face today. It's just what happens when you play with glitter. But now what I want to do is I want to go in with a the brown in this palette called Credit right here. And I want to do like a smoky liner with it. So I'm just going to take this Alomar. Um, it's not labeled, but it's just like a flat brush. And and let's see if we can work some magic on this lash line. I'm basically just kind of 
damping it on. I think the key to a smoky lash line is really just stamping it on first making sure you get the product where it needs to be and then you can go in and like smudge it out but i want to connect the brown up to here so i'm gonna do something like that and kind of just fill it in here i'm gonna go back in with the original crease brush that we used and just kind of feather this out a little bit so it's like not as harsh you see Ooh. I love the way this is looking. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back to finish up the face. All right, so I have the other eye done. Let's go in and start our face makeup. I have glitter all over my face and I'm kind of sad, but this is why we do our eyes before our face makeup. So I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Focus Foundation. I haven't worn this since probably December when COVID originally started. And I really miss it, so we're gonna go in with it today. My skin has been more on the drier side, especially since it's been going from like 60s and 70s down to like 20s and 30s here in Pennsylvania, so my skin is hella dry. And I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, and we're just gonna start blending this in. What I hate about doing my brows is first is that like I swear I can get foundation in them so easily and then it just messes up my brows and I get so mad. All right, so we just put a light layer of foundation on. Now we're gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is the hydrating one in Fair Warm. And I'm just gonna put a little bit right under the eyes. This is really full coverage so you don't. You don't need a lot. All right, look, where did our dark circles go? They gone. So for powder, let's go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. I haven't used this in a really long time either, actually, so let's go in with this. I'm gonna set the whole face and then we're gonna set the eyes. I have a new bronzer and powder to try out. We're gonna try out these bronzers from Milani. These are like the silky matte ones. Everybody's raving about these actually, so you know I had to pick them up and see what the hype is all about. So I picked up two shades. I picked up 01. This is in the color Sunlight. So you can tell this is definitely for more fair skin. And then I also picked up the shade 02 Sunkissed. So here they are side by side. Honestly, they look the same on camera, but we are gonna go in with the lighter shade first in the shade Sunkiss, or not Sunkiss, in the shade 01 Sunlight. These smell really, really good. They remind me of Physician's Formula and like what their bronzer smells like, that's what this smells like. So it's blending out really, really beautifully. Actually, I'm not mad at this. Wow, this is really nice. For a drugstore highlighter, this is really, really good. Ooh, I really, really like that, actually. I'm not gonna go in with the second one today because I think the light one worked very well. I was afraid it would be too light for me, but clearly it is not. For blush, I picked up a new blush. This is from e.l.f. This is the Always Cheeky Blush. It's a primer infused blush, and it's more of like a coral tone blush. So we're gonna try her out today. It's so beautiful beautiful i love it and we're just gonna put this right on the apples of the cheeks i think it's really going to match the eyes really well i think in person it's coming up a lot more than it is on camera it's definitely way more noticeable in person but it's a really really beautiful corally orange color but if you're it, but it's kind of muted at the same time so if you're into colors like that i suggest this one it's really really nice I feel like this looks so good. I'm gonna put a little bit on the nose. So the Milani and the e.l.f. products, love them. They worked really, really good. For highlight today, we're gonna go in with the Glowing In Grease Palette. I am going to use this shade right over here. It's like a gold shade. I think it would look really, really pretty with the look that we're going for today. Like a goldy pink. 
and you guys can see it's really blinding it's just so beautiful don't you guys hate when you get like a pimple here and then you put highlighter on it and it just <laughs> accentuates your pimple because same so now we're going to finish up the lower lash line i am just going to take that dark brown we used for the liner and just going to stamp it right under the lash line And then I'm just going to go back in with the original crease color and mix the two crease shades that we used because I like a blown out smoky eye. It's definitely, or a blown out lower lash line. I mean, it's definitely my fave. I don't know. It just looks so messy, but like still put together at the same time. Like, I love that. All right, so this is enough for the lower lash line for the inner corner highlight. I don't think I want to do anything glittery, to be honest, because we do already got a lot of glitter going on. So I'm just going to go back in with the Modern Renaissance palette and take that shade Tempura again. And I'm just going to use that color on the inner corners and on the brow bone. And if you do mess up, like you get some of the white in or whatever brow bone color you're using, you can just go back over it with your original brush to kind of brush it away so it doesn't mess up your makeup look. And I'm going to apply some mascara and lashes off camera and we will be right back to finish up the video. All right, you guys, so I am back. We've got the lashes on. I used the lashes from Kiss in the Style Page Boy. I wanted a lash that was still lengthy and, and had volume, but I didn't want something that was too long that you couldn't see like the little smoky wing we got going on here. Now we're gonna do our lips. I don't really know what lip product I wanna do. Give me a sec. I think I'm just gonna use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the color BFF and line the lips. And then go in with the NYX Push Up Lip Lingerie in the color Push Up. <laughs> Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. We got our hair done, we got our skincare done, we got our makeup done, and honestly, this is a full 0 to 100 transformation in my opinion, because if you looked at me before, I was probably a 2. And now I feel more like an 8, so. I think we did really well in this tutorial. I really like how the eye look came out. I hope you guys liked it too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications so you are notified every time I upload, and check out my social media links if you want to. They're down in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!